Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we're talking about the best gift knives. Knives that are best for gifts if you're wanting to get somebody a pocket knife as a gift. Starting the list off, we have the Civivi Pentail, one of my most, if not my most, recommended gift knife. Good materials. We have S35 VN blade steel. Um, so that's a, a good premium steel. Lots of different flavors. So there's lots of different options here. This is three out of, I think there's four or five options, but micarta, you can get the, the carbon fiber with the powdered steel Damascus, which this is actually very well done Damascus. And the action is really, really good. Super snappy, writing on ceramic caged bearings. And it's got a super deep hollow grind. So it's very thin behind the edge. This is a very slicey knife. Great blade shape, so it's gonna work for most applications. And it's not too big. It's a good size little EDC knife that works incredibly well. Deep carry reversible clip, T8 hardware all the way around. Yeah, great, great option. Like I said, one of my most recommended pocket knives as a gift. Next, the Civivi Asticus. Now, this does come in a larger option. This is the Mini, the Asticus Mini, which I think is the better option because it's still a full-size knife. Again, deep hollow grind on this drop point blade, liner lock action, and it comes in lots of different flavors. They have a bunch of different options, lots of different colors, different handle materials, so you can kind of get what works for you or the person that you're getting it for. This one is the Copper version. Flipping action, super snappy. My one complaint is I wish there was better access to the lock bar, um, but you know, it, it's just fine. You can improvise. I mean, it'll, it'll still work just fine. Um, but yeah, I wish there was a little bit better access, but it's still a, a solid, solid gift choice. Um, reversible deep carry, reversible deep carry clip, good ergos, very slicey, very snappy, and it looks good. It's a good looking EDC knife. Next, probably the most recommended that I've had on or of any list has always been the Civivi Elementum um, because one, it comes in so many different flavors. This is only three out of probably a hundred. They come in brass, copper, carbon fiber, um, micarta, obviously, G10, titanium. There's so many different options here. But the base model, which is D2, my carta is around fifty dollars. Deep hollow grind again, so it's going to be super slicey. Spear point blade, so it's going to be extremely useful. Good ergos, great size, good action. Ceramic caged bearings. The the clip is not reversible. That is the one thing, um, but still solid, solid knife. Now they even have an S thirty five VN choice that has a little bit of a thinner blade if you wanted to go that route for a little bit more money, but. The D2 option, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a great, great choice. Now, if you love the way this one looks, but you like something a little bit bigger, there's always the button lock elementum, which is this knife, just bigger. Now, the thing is, though, is that this one's not a liner lock. This is a button lock, and it's a button lock only. So you have to push the button and swing it out. It's somewhat of a gravity knife. So you want to be careful where you live on whether or not to get this for somebody, but there's still a lot of places where this is perfectly acceptable and anybody can carry it. But anyways, the, the action is very smooth, very fidgety, and you can always just two hand open it. It's locked in the open position and locked in the closed position, but deep hollow ground spear point blade, amazing ergonomics. The blade shape and design of this knife is just absolutely amazing it works it works great as a tool deep carry clip that is reversible and again lots of different flavors they even have a premium version of this in titanium in 20 cv so lots of options with this one and it's it's relatively affordable now if you're looking to get the person into fidgeting with knives a button lock is a great option i don't think you can go wrong with any Civivi button lock or any Sencut button lock. Sencut has three different button lock options. This is the Watauga, but the only difference really is going to be um, some of them are 9CR 18MOV steel. Some of them are D2. They all have the same great fit and finish in action. Detent is solid. Um, I have every version from Sencut and they're all very, very consistent. I don't think you can go wrong with any one of them. This one is is the Warncliffe option, 
Very, very snappy, great fit and finish, great action, deep carry clip that's reversible, and a button lock. A button lock is very easy to use. All you have to do is push the button and it'll close. It is riding on bearings. Very snappy, great sound. Now we have the Civivi Chevalier here. Now the Civivi Chevalier, basically the same style of knife with the locking mechanism. The difference is gonna be the steel choice. So with the Civivi models, you're gonna be able to get more premium steel. Um, the fit and finish and uh, you know all that stuff, the clip and everything is all basically gonna be the exact same. The biggest difference is gonna be the steel choice. So if you want a little upgrade in steel, go with one of the Civivi models. This one is the Chevalier, which is in 14C28M. My car to scales, but there is lots of different flavors again. All these knives have lots of different flavors. So, you know, depending on the color choice that you wanna get the person that you're getting a knife for, you can, you know, decide what you want. Civivi Praxis. It has to be on this list because it is my most recommended knife when it comes to a full size work knife. When you're trying to get a knife for somebody who's gonna use it as a tool, this is gonna be their tool. I mean, obviously knives are tools, but what I mean is that it's a full size work knife. This is my number one choice. It has a great geometry, nice flat grind, but this is a good geometry. To, <laughs> this, Flat grind has good geometry. Nice and thin behind the edge, very slicey, nice and broad. The ergos also help maximize the cutting performance. You can choke up for real maximum control. And it's super snappy, ceramic cage bearings. And by the way, there is a miniature version of this coming very, very soon. Reversible deep carry clip, and it's only like 43, 45 bucks for this one. That is amazing. 9CR 18 MOV steel, G10, but there is different options for this one as well. So different flavors, but very, very affordable. And that's why it's one of the most recommended. It's so affordable and so good. Next, the Kaiser Doman, but the Sheep's Foot one with 154 cm blade steel so the original one was n690 this is the hollow ground warncliffe blade sheep's foot blade whatever you want to call it in 154 cm blade steel but it's a deep hollow unlike the original which was a flat ground drop point blade or i think it was a drop point or a clip point thumb stud action that's stupid ridiculously smooth very very good detent Nice jipping up the spine, great ergos, nice and simple. And that's what's beautiful about this. It's simple, straightforward. Um, you do have an adjustable deep carry clip, you know, for to change the depth, you can pick which you know depth you want. Thumb studs are easy to get to, super snappy, good access to the lock bar, guillotine action, and it is very slicey and very useful. It's gonna be great for utility cuts, and it's also pretty affordable. Next is, the Kaiser Lan. Now this one comes with a dual ground blade. Now they have a Tonto version of this and a drop point. This one is the drop point version. You can see it has a hollow grind here and then a flat grind up here. So you can be nice and slicey right here. And then up here you can get a little bit more stability for poking and stuff like that. Amazing, amazing action. Complete guillotine shut action. It does have a fuller here for the reverse flick. It's a little tight, but you can get it. Minimal flipper tab that works very, very well. Again, adjustable deep carry clip. And, you know, it's just a good, solid knife with um, good ergos, good cutting performance, and it looks good. And it has that nice frag micarta, but there is different options. And... This list wouldn't be a list without at least one Kubi. Now there is a lot of Kubis I can recommend here, a lot of them, but I'm going to recommend the Momentum the most. It has a beautiful drop point blade, D2 steel. Um, I think it does come in different options as well. A lot of the Kubis do, a lot of them come in S30V um, and OS 10. Super duper smooth action, good access to the lock bar very easy to disengage, and then it has a top flipper that's very, very easy to use. So even if somebody's not that good at the front flipper, they can easily slow roll it and lock it up very solid every single time. The ergos are super comfortable in every grip, and that's kind of the beauty of this knife is it's gonna trap materials a little bit without with little effort. So great, great choice. 
deep carry clip that is reversible and there is different color options. And this is pretty affordable, right around, it's under 50 bucks. Um, and sometimes I've seen these for like under $40. So depending on where you look, I'm gonna link everything I can down in the description for you guys. But the Kubi Momentum is one of my most recommended Kubis, but there are a lot of options out there because Kubi makes a lot of great knives in the $50 or less range. You really can't go wrong with any of them, but there are some favorites still. Next, the Kaiser Rapids. Now, this comes in two different flavors. You got the Blue G10 version or this Micarta option, which I think is a better choice because this is really good quality Micarta. 154 cm, but it's a narrow knife, and that's what I think the beauty of this knife is. It's gonna be super easy to carry, reversible deep carry clip. The thumb studs are extremely easy to snap out, so I think anybody is going to be able to deploy this rapidly. It is called the Rapid. Um, good access to the lock bar, guillotine action, extremely smooth, ergonomic, and this narrow blade is gonna be nice to get into things, you know, you can use the tip easily, you can slice easily, you can use the belly. Um, just a very useful design, straightforward, the Kaiser Rapids, what a good knife. Now, let's talk about the budget of the budget. The budget of the budget. What do you get if you only have less than $30? Go with the Ganzo FH21. There's a couple other options, like the FH922, the FH41, all amazing options as well. This one is my most recommended at the moment. It is such a solid choice of a knife, very snappy. I mean, the, the action on this is similar to what you'd expect from a knife that's far, far more expensive. Good access to the lock bar, Solid lockup, good G10 scales, a deep carry clip, great ergos, it's not too small, not too big, phenomenal size, great blade shape. Then you also have the Best Tech Man Dundee. Now this is another great option, very, very affordable, right around the 30 plus dollar mark. I think it's like 35 bucks, something like that. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. Um, but it also has great flipping action. Good access to the lock bar. You can easily reverse, or not easily, it's a little tight to reverse flick, but you can do it if you're good at reverse flicking, but I wouldn't say it's easy. So let me take that back. But the flipping action is very, very easy, very snappy. Nice straight clip point blade, G10 scales. The clip point blade is in D2 steel. Deep carry clip that is reversible and in set. Very slim, very, very lightweight. Now I will say though, between these two knives, I would recommend this one a little bit more. I think honestly it would last a little bit longer than this one, just the feel that I have from the knife. I think they're both great choices, but I honestly think that this one would just last a little bit longer. It feels a little bit more solid than the Dundee, but both are great choices though. All right, now, the person you're getting a knife for only wants USA. They like USA made products, so we need a USA made list, and these are the only USA made knives I would put on this list, especially because most, most of the time when you're looking to buy a knife for somebody, you want the best bang for your buck, the best USA for the best price, and that's going to be the Hogue Sig Sauer K320. S30V steel, FRN handles, there is different flavors and different options. You can get the aluminum scaled version that is more expensive. They even have a carbon fiber version coming with 20 CV, but this one is under $140 and it's got amazing um, lock up and action from the crossbar lock. Super duper solid. The whole deployment could be a little bit bigger, but you get used to it and it's still nice and easy. Drop point blade, you can choke up. The ergos melt in your hand. Deep carry clip that is reversible and it, oh, four way reversible. Sorry, four way reversible deep carry clip. And you know, it's, it's a good looking knife, USA made. Um, yeah. Good, good choice there. Now, another choice from Hogue would be the Hogue Deca. I think this would probably be my my most recommended kind of um, for the money because you can get these for like 135 bucks with Magna Cut Steel and FRN. Now, these are original goat scales, so you won't be able to buy it with these exact scales, but you could buy this and then get the scales later. Um, or they could, whoever you're buying it for. Thumb stud action. Very, very snappy, super duper lightweight. When you get this, it is the lightest knife probably on this whole, through this whole video. It is extremely lightweight. 
comes in different options for blade shape. This one is the Warncliffe with the dual grind, but magna cut steel, nice and slicey. It, it is ergonomic. Um, the original scales are a little bendy because it's FRN and very lightweight, but like I said, you can always upgrade them in the future. Deep carry clip that is not reversible. I don't remember if the other scales were reversible or not. I, that, regardless, it's got a deep carry clip that's right-handed. I think the FRN option does have it reversible. And yes, I realize I'm missing a screw. Next would be the Benjamin Griptilian, the sheep's foot. You can get these, I think $120 for the mini and then like $140 for the large. So USA made S30V steel, great ergonomics, even on the mini. The mini is such, it's, these are such good knives. I absolutely love the Benchmade Griptilian. And the large one is probably the most comfortable knife you'll ever put in your hand. There's a reason why it's called the Griptilian. And with this particular blade shape, the Sheep's Foot Blade is my most recommended because it's gonna be the most useful for EDC. Great utility cuts, great slicing. Yes, it's a robust grind, but you can always lay back the edge angle like I did on mine and it slices is like a champ great lockup and it is a um a strong lock bar because you know the crossbar lock or access lock because it's a bench made is a very very strong lock and it's fidgety so you know you can get the person to have a little fun with it and then another thing is that they can always um upgrade their knives in the future because there's so many different aftermarket parts for knives like this and then last the Spyderco Para 3. Lots of different flavors of this. Lots of different options. You can go crazy with these. There are so many different options. You got the lightweights. You got all the way up to like this version, which is G10 and Maximet. Now you can, which is one of the most wear resistant steels on the planet. So this thing's going to hold an edge for an incredible long time. Um, I do have a CME from OCD for EDC on it, which kind of makes it a button lock but it uses the compression lock, which is also very fidgety. Um, it is right hand biased, unless if you get this CME. If you get the CME, then it's very good left-handed, but you have to get the CME. But they're affordable and e very easy to, um, to put on, to install. But anyways, really, really good knife. Like I said, comes in so many different options that it's hard not to recommend. And you can get them all the way down to like 120 bucks, 100, $120, $130 for the FRN. And then this version or the G10 version, I should say, with like S45, S30 V S45, I think is going to be um, like $150. So, you know, and then there's, it goes all the way up from there. There's so many different options and you can get scales, uh, clips, you can get so many different things for these. There are so many different aftermarket parts where you can make this knife your own USA made phenomenal knife. And then if you're looking for something on the smaller side, I recommend the Lander or the Mini Banter. Now there is the full size Banter, which there is an XL version also coming, review coming soon. Um, I really like the Banter. I think that this is a perfect size EDC knife for most people. S35 VN blade steel, lots of different flavors with handle materials. This one is the, the, the micarta version. Deep carry clip that's reversible. Fantastic action, ceramic caged bearings and a pivot. Um, good cutting geometry. It's just a straightforward, good knife. Now, the Lander kind of gets a little in between the Banter and the Baby Banter, but Lots of different flavors with this, and there are going to be all kinds of different scales. As of right now, you've got all different kinds of scale choices you can buy. All you got to do is remove these two screws, the clip screws, and you can switch your scales so it's very easy to install the, the new scales. You don't have to take the knife all the way apart. Deep carry clip that's reversible. D2 steel. Thumb stud action. Very simple. Very basic, but that's the point. Then you have the BB banter, which <laughs> I adore this knife. You have titanium thumb studs, um, deep carry clip that is reversible, great access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop, super snappy detent. And there's a lot of flavors with this one as well. Lots of different colors, different handle materials. They even have a new version that is that has a red blade with the ivory G10 scales. So lots of options there. Nitro V steel on this one. Um, 
which is a great steel. I personally like Nitro V a lot. Stainless steel, super tough, holds a good edge, easy to sharpen. D2 steel on this one. The one thing is that it's not going to have the most corrosion resistant. You'll get a little bit better edge retention probably, but you know it's not going to be corrosion resistant. But in this case, you have the coated blade. And then S35VN on that one. But I think that these are amazing amazing choices for gift knives um stocking stuffers or you know depending on what you're trying to go for if you're going for a birthday um christmas uh thanksgiving gift whatever you know um these are all great options so there you guys go that is my list for the best gift knives you can get people that i think are the best kind of bang for your bucks very affordable choices i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace